So hi again everybody, this is a quick build review of the Diadone Innovations DTI Blade 250. The Blade 250 is an improved version of the ZMR250, which you can see here, which we all know very well. So let's review this build. Uh, First, the components which I used uh, for this build are the Multistar Baby Beast motors. Uh, I simply used them because I had a bunch of them lying around from the last Hobbycan uh, 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 special on them. And as you can see, I used them with 6 inch props, and that makes this quad a very silent flyer. Compared to the 5 inch props, uh, the 6 inch props not only bring you a bit more flight time but also make this uh, copter much more silent. Uh, as you can see here, I have used the BDB from Diaton Innovations uh, in this build. This works very well. You can see that it uh, offers a very clean build thanks to the PDP. The only thing which might be an improvement for the PDP is that this PDP does not feature any uh, signal lines for the signal of the of the ESCs. So as you can see I had to use the ESC cables and uh, used them uh, to, to connect to the flight controller and well uh, this might be an improvement like we can see here for example with this PDP it's a bit more clean because it also has signal lines on board for the uh, signal line of the ESC. For the uh, flight controller which you can see here I'm using one of the uh, uh, cheap CC3D flight controllers which you can buy for around 12 to 13 bucks from Banggood at the moment. Uh, this works great. So I have uh, you, um, bought this, this CC3D uh, flight controller. I flashed clean flight on it which is possible without any problems. I have activated one shot 1 to 5 in clean flight which is also supported by these ESCs, which gives me a very locked-in feeling during flying. Uh, usually this CC3D comes with a separate vibration dampeners. I can show it to you on my other frame where I have used them. You can see this case and the vibration dampeners here. But actually I found out if you balance your props, you can see that I have balanced them here. And if you balance your motors, if necessary, it was not necessary for this baby beast motors, then it is not necessary to have additional vibration dampening for the flight controller. So that works fine without it. Other than that, this frame is really an improvement. It is about 30 grams more lightweight than the ZMR250. Uh, One can see the differences. For example, if you see the top plate here, uh, you can see the differences that there are much more um, cut out spaces than with the typical ZMR. And this is also true for the bottom plate. As you can see here, there are much more cut out uh, spaces here compared to the ZMR and I already flew this one quite a bit and I, I couldn't see any issues with stability uh, but I didn't crush it yet so that's something we will see. Uh, it is my most lightweight quadcopter so far. We can do a quick measurement of its weight. this here so that you can see it and let's tear this out 
and as you can see I hope you can see that comes in at 345 grams it's only missing the flight battery this includes the FPV transmitter with antenna the whole power setup of course and of course also the FPV camera so this is pretty good as I said it's my most lightweight uh, mini quad in the 250 size so far I could have made it even lighter as you can see I'm using this quite big baby beast motors here which are quite a bit heavier than for example these this 1806 2300 kV motors so I could maybe save uh, some more grams in this build but as it is it flies great I just had the maiden flight before and it's really a, a, a nice little copter I really like it for ESC's I use the, the uh, ZDV Spider 12 Ampere uh, ESC's the same as on my other mini quad I really like them I use them on three of my mini quads and on my tricopter and I never had one of them fail on me so these are very cheap and reliable ESC's there's also another improvement which Diadon made with this frame uh, something which always bothered me a bit uh, was that with the traditional setem r to 50 frame uh, it only had uh, spacers for M2 screws here so uh, you could only use M2 screws here uh, which works for these motors <coughs> but for example for the baby beast motors these use M3 screws which uh, would not be possible in the setup out to 50 without modifications and with that uh, frame this is possible this is really nice I really like it other than that I really like this frame it's available for about the same price as the setup R frame it's more lightweight it allows mounting of motors with M3 screws and it comes with a PDB which fits the frame really nicely it's made of carbon which means it's very lightweight so all in all other than that little issue with the PDP I told you before I can only suggest this frame I can only say yeah this frame is good and from now on I will probably use this frame instead of the Saturn out to 50 for my mini quad projects so yes this was it for this build review I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it, uh, if you have any questions about it, please write them in the comments. If you like this review and if you would like me to do further reviews, more reviews, please leave a thumbs up and most importantly, please subscribe to my channel, that's what means most to me. So thank you very much and see you next time.